Hello there, in one of my previous video I showed you how to make this 10 segment new pixel clock and you can see that the clock still works properly but making this clock requires more time because of its circuit and you can see that I connected the new pixel LEDs with the single stranded wire to solve this I have made a new version and here it is the enclosure is 3D printed and the clock works just like before it shows time and temperature and changes the color in every minute we can charge this clock through this USB Type-C port and also we can change the time using these buttons. So in this video, let's see how to build this clock. Let's get started with this video. So here is the circuit diagram, the same circuit that I used in the previous clock. We need 42 WS2812 NeoPixel LEDs to display the time. The brain of this circuit is an Arduino Pro Mini. To save time, here I used the DS3231 RTC module and some other switches and buttons for controlling the time. Now I converted the circuit diagram into a PCB and I designed the PCB just like this. Next I generated the Gerber files for PCB fabrication. To fabricate PCBs I went to jlcpcb.com as always. JLCPCB provides 5 PCBs for just $2 and their PCB assembly starts from $0. For ordering the PCBs just click on order now and upload the Gerber file. After uploading we can select the quantity, color, thickness etc. Here I chose black color. Now select the shipping method and finally place the order. Very simple. After 2 weeks, I received the PCBs from JLC PCB. The PCBs are good looking and the quality is superb. Now let's solder. We need to solder 42 NeoPixel LEDs to the PCB. Doing this by hand is painful, so I decided to go with the reflow method. So, first I dispensed the solder paste using a syringe. After that, I place the NeoPixel LEDs one by one. In the first step, I placed only half of the LED. Now I place the PCB on my DIY reflow plate and cook the PCB. Here is the PCB after reflow soldering. Everything is just okay. So I repeated the same process for the remaining LEDs. After the LED soldering, let's solder the other components. First I place the small SMD components, soldered them with my normal soldering iron. Then I placed and soldered the female header pins for the Arduino Pro Mini. Finally I attached the buttons to the PCB. Now to enclose everything together, I designed a case in Thinkercad and I 3D printed it with my Ender 3 version 2. Here are some failed designs. This is the final design. Here I am using a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery with a TP4056 charging circuit. Also we need a booster circuit to convert 3.7 volt to 5 volt. Now let's assemble. I placed buttons, switches and the charging module on the socket of the back cover. And secured it with the hot glue gun. Then I place the PCB on the main case. Now it's time to place the Arduino after programming.
After that, I connected the battery to the circuit. And finally, I placed the RTC module on its socket. And closed everything. Now you can see the result. The clock worked just as expected, but we can see the time properly. To solve that, again I 3D printed a 0.5 mm white sheet. And I glued it to the front of the main case. Now the sheet acts like a diffuser. That's it. Our clock is completed now. And see the working. This clock will display of course the time and also the temperature and the main feature is it changes the colors in every minute. So this is how I made the 10 segment NeoPixel clock. You can download the code from my website. Link is in the video description. You can also buy the clock from there. So that's all about today, hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video, if so, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching, I will see you with another video.